done. Come on. No, I'm not done. Now get going. <laughs> I am not done. D-O-N-E. Done, done. Get going. <laughs>so today we're here to discuss about our gym etiquettes okay the do's and don'ts of uh, of, of a gym so put your plates back okay that's the number one point put your plates back no one is there to clean after you no one is your mom or your dad or your wife or your your girlfriend or whatever i see so many people at the gym they, they will leave these heavy heavy dumbbells 100 pound or 60 or 70 and leave it right where they let they used it they, they did not put it back someone else may want to use it someone can 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 injure themselves on it right even though the gym has employees that are in charge of those before those employees comes around and and clean after you because you don't know how to clean after yourself someone else can strip and fall on it and injure themselves and it is a disadvantage to someone who wants to use the same machine or the dumbbell they have to look for it because they did not know where you were they expected to find it on the rack on the weight rack but then yeah you misplace it and just point is clean the machine after you clean the machine after each use you are sweaty at the gym i expect you to clean the machine that you use after yourself no one wants to come and grab the sweat of yours. It just doesn't make sense. That's how disease is spread at the gym. I just don't, I cannot imagine not cleaning a machine before I use it. I can never do it. And I think it's common sense for you to not just leave your sweat on the machine. Before I use the machine, I clean it and I clean it after use. So you should do the same. Clean the machine before you use it because some people, the people that I'm talking about that don't clean their machines after themselves, might just leave and you'll come and grab those a uh, sweat. It just is very nasty. I hate it when people do it. So the next point is do not hold on to a machine while talking to someone else. If I want to use a machine that you are on, but you are talking to someone else forever. I'm not saying you should not have a quick conversation with someone, but you are talking to someone else forever. You are just there and just running your mouth. And I, I don't get it. Stop running your mouth and get back to your workout. We all talk to people, you know, hey, Rose, what up? Why not? Okay, keep a shot and get moving. Keep a shot. Unless you are, do, you are working out while you're talking. Unless that's the case. If you are just having a casual conversation, I would say that is not the place because you are you are wasting someone else's time. They are waiting on you. That machine doesn't belong to you alone. Do not watch TV at the gym. Doesn't that sound funny and like ridiculous? Why should I watch TV at the gym? I'm going to explain. When you are at the gym and you're using a machine that I want to use and you are so much into this TV that is hanging there, you're watching TV the whole time. You are there like this. Do you have a home? Yes, I guess. Go home and watch that for your TV. Those TVs are there for distraction and for decoration. It could be distraction when you are on your rest period, right? When you are resting after a, a set, you rest in between set, maybe 60 seconds, which is one minute if you are lifting super heavy, 30 seconds or why not. Just glance at it and go back to work. It's not there for you. I see people watching TV. Sometimes, like, maybe I should bring a popcorn or uh, something to them. A drink? You need a popcorn? You need a drink? Do you need a hot tower? What do you want? Why are you going to the gym and watching TV there? The gym is not made for you to watch TV. Do not do that. I'm about to use the machine, so stop watching the TV. You, are, you, you Stop it. It doesn't make sense. Please. Okay, <laughs> I judge a little bit. But that being said, this is our next step. Do not pressure people that are using uh, the machine that you want. Do not pressure people that are on the machine that you want. Sometimes as I'm working out and I'm super focused, I see someone say, 
you know I'm using the machine. I'm not on my phone or watching TV. They come. Are you done? They, for me, <laughs> you telling me, are you done? You are pressuring me. It's a hey. Telling me, hey, how many sets you have is more approachable and I can deal with that because I do ask the same thing. How many sets? Bam, bam. Two, three, four, five. I get it. It's how many sets do you have? But you asking me, are you done? And you know I'm in the middle of my workout. How can I be done? If, I, if I'm in the middle of a workout like that, the right question should be, how many sets do you have? How long? It's not like, are you done? Come on. No, I'm not done. Now get going. <laughs> I am not done. D-O-N-E. Done, done. Get going. <laughs> okay, so this is our next step, okay? Do not get in front of me or people when they're working out on a mirror. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do not get in front of me or anybody at that gym when they are using the mirror. The essence of the mirror is still for me to see my phone and the, yeah, it's for my phone. It's not, it's, it's not something that's made for beauty. It's not made for, for me to do my makeup on. No, when you come and get in front of me, I am there to use the mirror for a reason. And buddy, you get in front of me doesn't help. Please get, get, get out of my way. Get out of my way, even though I don't say that. Honestly, I don't say that, but this is what I say within me. I get out of my way. What are you doing? Tell me, come on, let's go. You know, I'm using it. Be mindful of your contact in the gym. It matters. Those are etiquettes you need to really pay attention to. 